The January update is here, with lots of focus on custom server additions and quality of life, as well as a few other additions for the main roleplay mode. This update, we've driven focus on what could be added or changed to enhance your custom server experience. Regarding presets, we've added a lot of new options, such as the Zones preset. Starting out with the CDC zone, which disables the map's default line and makes it so the designated zone for Class Ds that they are permitted to be in is within that zone, along with the CI Escape zone, Blast Shelter zone, and RK zone. We've also added the Zones 2 preset, which adds restricted zones that can be applied to your map to prevent teams of the according alignments, Foundation, Hostiles, and Neutral. We've also added a Metal Detector to the Props 2 preset. The Metal Detector will play a beeping sound whenever someone with contraband such as a gun or items such as the crowbar, staff, radio, and more. Regarding custom server settings, we've added a lot of quality of life options, such as the ability to disable global key cards, meaning you can make each team have their own key card access level, which is done by assigning a key card in the team's loto section, or none at all if you require it. Alongside this, we've also added the ability to disable key card purchases to prevent bypasses for the system. We've also added the capability to disable or enable the miniguns for O5s, and whether or not Class Ds can escape through the designated escape areas on the map. Menu order has also been added as an option for custom servers, allowing teams to be ordered left to right accordingly to their numbers. Team visibility alongside menu order has also been added, allowing you to fully customize the team menu for your server, as well as the organization. Regarding commands, we've added quite a few. Remove Tool and Remove Tools has been added to the commands one can use, allowing one to remove a tool from someone's inventory. Perm Scale and Perm Face, and their unperm counterparts, have also been added. Damage Modifier commands for specific individuals have also been added. Damage Multiplier, alongside its permanent variants, have been added, allowing you to change someone's damage output to your liking. We've also added a Play Sound command for players in custom servers, which plays an according audio on the player itself. We've put in mind that SCP actors, for example, in custom sites may have a lot of use for this kind of ability. As a result, Play, Stop Sound, Volume, and Pitch have been changed to be Play Song, Stop Song, Song Volume, and Song Pitch. We've also now added a Blacklist command, which blacklists a player from the current map acting as a proper ban system if you need to keep someone out indefinitely. Outside of custom servers, we've also added smaller quality of life changes, such as proper tutorials for the Class D, Scientific Department, and Security Department teams, as well as a new area loading system which should drastically increase performance as well as reduce the severity of lag spikes. There have been a lot of fixes and smaller changes made to the game that you can check out in-game now and we hope to continue delivering quality updates for you all.